Okay, integrity is one of the national values we have in this country, Uganda, and is embedded within the, the policy, the national values policy, which was passed by the government of Uganda in 2013 through the Directorate for Ethics and Integrity as a line ministry. Integrity is very, very significant in this country, especially for national de development. And basically, when we talk about integrity, it refers to being honest, trustworthy, and reliable. How can the ordinary person out there be honest, trustworthy, and reliable? You realize integrity are like manners, disciplines we are raised with, where parents in the family play a very significant part in raising up children with integrity. Because children with integrity normally keep their words. They act according to their words. They practice what they preach. They walk the talk. And they also own up their mistakes. Because when somebody has integrity, it doesn't mean that the person does not make mistakes. So integrity, I would sum it up as a cornerstone for good character. It is that bedrock for good character. And everybody must have that good character. And integrity is important, especially for leaders today, because it is the foundation for trust and respect. If we want to build trust and respect among leaders, we need to promote integrity. And when leaders demonstrate integrity in their actions and words, they are more likely to earn trust from their followers, from their teams, from their stakeholders, because the person with integrity is a trustworthy person. So it's very important to build credibility and also a positive reputation for people with integrity. And when we talk about the qualities of integrity, a person who has integrity in the community out there is dependable and if he follows up through on his own commitments. If he says, I'm coming to the office at 8, he comes at 8 on the dot or a few minutes to 8 so that he is able to keep time. He is honest and down to earth. And being open and honest when communicating to others is very, very important. Many are times when leaders, especially politicians, now that they're preparing for elections, they go out and tell lots of lies. And yet if he told their followers the truth, they would trust him as a dependable leader. Integrity is about holding yourself accountable and even owning up the shortcomings. A person with integrity also makes mistakes. If you know your values and what is expected of you as a leader, then you stand by those. Integrity is very significant especially in the fight against corruption because integrity helps to promote transparency, accountability and anti-corruption. It is paramount and very, very essential, especially when we are talking about trust and accountability. We have a program called TAC, rolling out transparency, accountability and anti-corruption in the fight against corruption because we know that integrity sets the moral compass. It's a moral compass. It serves as a moral compass that guides individuals and organizations and societies, especially towards ethical behavior. So in the fight against corruption, it is a solid foundation that every actor in this country must take seriously, especially for making sound moral decisions, for upholding values and resisting temptations that may lead to an ethical actions. So integrity is that moral compass which guides our behavior and everybody must own it, must embrace it in order to make this country a better country to live in. So we have seen that in integrity is very significant because it helps you to be a good person and when you have it you're likely to make good decisions, you're likely to treat other people with respect and you're likely to be successful in life. Without integrity, people become dishonest or even sneaky. And when we take it to the fight against corruption, integrity helps to build trust and credibility of the human being. It's fundamental in building trust even in communities, even in institutions, and even in systems. Because by demonstrating integrity in our actions, uh, in our words, in our decisions, you realize that as an individual, you end up building trust 
from among the people and you end up fostering credibility in the society. Integrity helps to promote accountability in the fight against corruption because a person who has integrity does not steal what does not belong to him. He uses the money he's given or entrusted with for the right purpose. A person who has integrity is truthful. He speaks the truth and because he speaks the truth, he's respected in the communities where he lives. So integrity helps in promoting accountability. Integrity helps in upholding high moral values and standards. It involves holding those ethical values and standards, even in the face of challenges. Like I said earlier on, a person with integrity also makes mistakes. And a person with integrity is able to approach challenges objectively. A person with integrity looks at every challenge and turns it out as an opportunity. So when we foster that culture of integrity in our country, it helps to, to, to maintain institutions with respect, it helps in building credibility in the institutions. It helps to encourage people to promote these shared values, even right from their families to their institutions where they work, to the academic institutions of learning, and even helps the young people out there trust their leaders and build and encourage themselves to be people who are trusted. Leaders play a very crucial role in combating corruption in our country today. And in combating corruption, they have to be leading with integrity, with transparency, with ethical leadership. And in doing this, they will model integrity in their actions, in their decisions, and in the way they conduct themselves. A person with integrity does not cheat. A person with integrity is respectful and is respectable and is held in high um, uh, in high esteem because of how that person moves himself. A person with integrity helps also in enhancing good governance. So when we talk about anti-corruption and good governance, we see that integrity is essential in advocating or advancing for good governance in our country it, because it promotes the other principles of transparency, accountability, and anti-corruption. So when we integrate integrity in our governance systems and policies and frameworks and practices we see that institutions can come out to strengthen their capacity to prevent acts or incidences of corruption they are able to detect and able to address corruption effectively because they will have created a more efficient and transparent system which holds or upholds public trust so integrity is very very important because it is that tool, like we said, it is that moral compass which is significant, especially in the fight against corruption, and it is also significant right from the families, because if you raise a child with integrity, then that child will promote values and principles like honesty, like walking the talk, like being truthful, and not telling lies. So integrity is very important because it helps us be good people, it helps you, to be a good person and when you have it you're likely to make good decisions as a leader you're likely to treat others with respect and you're likely to be successful in life so with integrity people become honest but without integrity that's when we see people being dishonest and being sneaky and cheating others and so on thank you very much